Okay, we're going to work example 541. Prove that any integer greater than 1 is divisible by a prime number. And for this, we need to know what prime number is. So you should go back to your textbook and read that an integer n is prime if and only if it's bigger than 1. And for all positive integers r and s, if n is the product of r times s, then either r or s equals n. And the um, what happens if that's not true is that we call n composite, that n equals r times s for some integers r and s, and r, neither r nor s is equal to n. They'd be in between. So that's the definition of prime. And we need to show that every integer greater than 1 is divisible by a prime number. So what we can do is this. We can do a proof by strong induction. And of course we need a statement. We need our p of n. p of n is the statement that n is divisible by a prime. And <clears throat> so when we do this, we want to prove that uh, p of, we actually want to prove that um, p of 2 is true. We want to prove that p of 3 is true, that we want to prove that p of 4 is true, all the way up to um, p of k. That's our induction hypothesis. Um, actually, that's our strong induction hypothesis. And then um, that should prove that p of k plus 1 is true. This is, this is the induction conclusion, although nobody calls it that except for me. But we're going to suppose, well, once we've done the base case, the base case, we could, we could use this as a base case or maybe these two um, uh, base cases have a p of 2 and p of 3. Notice that it should be n greater than 1, so we don't want p of 1, we want to start with p of 2. So those are the base cases. Um, 2 is uh, divisible uh, by a prime and 3 is divisible by a prime. Well, 2 is a prime, so 2 is divisible by 2. And 3 is a prime, so 3 is divisible by 3. Um, we could even continue you don't need to limit yourself to one base case, uh, but most people do. But P of 4 would say that 4 is divisible by a prime. And of course it is, because 4 is divisible by 2. So let's, let's suppose that, that every number between 1 and k is divisible by a prime. And we have to show that k plus 1 is divisible by a prime. So uh, suppose um, each of 2 up to k is divisible by a prime. Um, and we're going to consider uh, k plus 1. Now, there's actually really two cases. One is the trivial case. Um, case 1 if k plus 1 is prime, well then just like 2 and 3, k plus 1 is divisible by itself. k plus 1 is divisible by k plus 1, so k plus 1 is divisible by a prime. And we're set. And now we need to do case 2 if, if k plus 1 is not prime, um, then it's composite. And the definition of composite means that um, this k plus 1 is r times s for some integers uh, r and s that are between um, 
between 1 and k plus 1. Okay. But that means that um, r and s are less than k plus 1. r and s will be in here. r and s are in there. So let's just look at, k, at, at r. Um, by the strong induction hypothesis, um, p of r is true. So there's some prime p. p is divisible by, I, by r, um, some prime p. And it looks like we need a little bit more room. Let's slide this up. p is divisible by r for some prime p. Also, since k plus 1 is r times s, that means that r is a divisor of k plus 1. And putting these together, p is a divisor of r, r is a divisor of k plus 1. By the transitivity of divisibility, um, we know that r, that, that p, must be a divisor of k plus 1. So k plus 1 is divisible by prime p. And that finishes the induction step. We had to use the transitivity of divisibility and the definition of prime and composite. And we put our halmos there. Our conclusion is that every integer n greater than 1 is divisible by a prime. And let's stop there.